After hours of public comment, the San Diego City Council voted 5-4 in favor of that unsafe camping ordinance. This is an issue we've been following a lot over the past couple weeks. The council passed this controversial plan just before midnight last night. CBS 8's Chris Grove live downtown with more reaction to this. And then what also happens next here with all this, Chris? Yeah, and that is going to be the thing to pay attention to right now. Just how closely this will follow, uh, excuse me, follow the amendments that were made to this, but also how soon we will see it implemented. Right now we're hearing 30 days after a safe shelter lot will open up near Balboa Park, but at the same time we're still likely going to see some challenges uh, legally in the courtroom, so we'll have to pay attention to that. But for now, let's listen into what both sides had to say just last night. You need to offer a hand instead of a damn ban. The time is now. We have people living on our streets under inhumane circumstances. And so what this ordinance does for those who haven't been, uh, you know, paying attention to this conversation recently, this does indeed ban those tents and encampments in all public spaces throughout the city if shelter beds are available. But it does ban those tent encampments at all times, regardless of shelter capacity in certain areas like parks, canyons and near schools. So how is it going to be enforced? Well, based on established protocol in dealing with the homeless by the police department, those in violation will be warned and educated on the ordinance first told about the shelter bed availability. If they don't accept that shelter bed, they could be cited in another instance. And then again, if they continue to stay in that encampment in that public space, if the shelter beds are still available, they could eventually be arrested. There were amendments made to this ban. One establishes a working group to monitor how the ordinance is carried out. And under another amendment, the ordinance won't take effect until 30 days after that safe sleeping lot that I was just telling you about is opened. I should point out that's on 20th and B Street. That should be done in July. That other safe sleep program site would be located in Balboa Park at the parking lot. Oh, now the two sites should serve about 500 people. Uh, there will be bathroom security and other services for sheltered individuals, and that was part of a shelter plan that was done in conjunction with the encampment ban. But take a listen uh, to what Mayor Todd Gloria had to say about the passing of the ban. It is a necessary step that strikes an appropriate balance between the needs of our homeless population and the well-being of all of our city's residents. And for more information on this ban and what the future of it could look like, just go to CBS8.com and click on that story link.